Welcome to vgates.net tutorial videos. How to add and schedule visitors. From your home screen choose the add visitor button. The add visitor screen will appear. You need to add the visitor's first name, last name and phone number, then designate whether the visitor is a guest or a vendor from the drop-down menu and whether or not the visitor needs to be further authorized by you once at the gate. Now scroll down. Here you have the option to add a driver's license for automated entry. At the very bottom of the page choose the Add Visitor button to complete the transaction. You will be prompted to acknowledge that you want to add this guest with a pop-up dialog box. Choose Yes to complete the transaction. Your new guest profile will appear on the screen where you can review, edit or add information. To add a custom schedule, choose the Custom Schedule button on the bottom of the profile page. The schedule page for your new guest will appear. It will be defaulted to Schedule Allowed which will allow your guest access without any time restrictions. To add a custom schedule with time and or day restrictions, choose the Custom Schedule button. When Custom Schedule is chosen, dates and times will appear for effective from. This will be defaulted to today's date. Effective until will be defaulted to three years in the future. To change the effective from, date and time, choose the effective from box. A drop-down menu will appear with a calendar and time. Choose the effective from date from the calendar and use the arrows above the hours, minutes, and a.m. p.m. to choose the effective from time. Your new effective from, date and time, will show on the screen. Now choose the effective till, box. A drop-down menu will appear with a calendar and time. Notice that the year is three years in the future. This will need to be changed using the arrows before, or after, the month and year. Once on the correct month, choose the effective till date from the calendar and use the arrows above the hours, minutes, and a.m. p.m. to choose the effective till time. Your new effective from, and effective till, dates and times will now show, and you must enter the day, or days, of the week this schedule will be effective for, before you try to save the new schedule. If you try to save the new schedule before defining the days of the week, a warning dialog box will appear prompting you to choose a day, or days of the week, otherwise your guest will be defaulted to always denied and will not have access to the site. Choose the drop-down menu next to, Add Day, and a menu of the days of the week will appear. To choose Saturday, scroll the menu down one place. Once you choose a day of the week, the Add Day button will turn from gray to blue and the day has been added. Once the day of the week is set, it defaults to all day. You may choose to use the Day Hour drop-down menu to further define the hours of the day the guest has access, or choose another day of the week from a new menu that appears. To define the hours of a day of the week, choose the All Day menu and you will see an Hours option. Choose Hours from the menu. A new set of From Until drop-down menus will appear under the day of the week chosen. Choose the From drop-down menu first and a clock menu will appear. The clock menu is defaulted to 12 a.m., midnight. On the clock menu, touch the blue circle and move it in a circular motion around the clock until the desired hour is reached, then let go. Once the clock is set to the hour, the clock menu then presents an option to set the minutes within the hour desired. Once the hour and minutes are displayed correctly, choose the Set button to set the time. After choosing Set, the scheduling screen will reappear and the From Time will be changed. Now choose the Till Time to set that. Once again a clock menu will appear. The clock menu is defaulted to 12 a.m. 
On the clock menu, touch the blue circle and move it in a circular motion around the clock until the desired hour is reached, then let go. Once the clock is set to the hour, the clock menu then presents an option to set the minutes within the hour desired. Once the hour and minutes are displayed correctly, choose the set button to set the time. After choosing set, the scheduling screen will reappear and the till time will be changed. Now choose the save button to save your changes. A dialog box will appear and ask whether or not you wish to save these changes. Choose yes to save your changes. Once you have saved your changes, the edited guest screen will appear so that you can review or continue to edit the guest profile. You can also go to your visitor list to see that the new guest profile has been added by choosing the visitor list text with the arrow next to it. Upon choosing to see your visitor list, a new screen will appear with your entire current visitor list and you can then choose the details button next to any visitor to review that visitor's detailed information, or choose the remove button to remove and delete a visitor profile no longer needed. Thank you for watching our vgates.net tutorial videos. Please visit our YouTube channel for more instructional videos.